hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be making this bag it's actually a continuation of the video we posted two weeks ago so now the materials we need i already have my ankara print um this is a velvet i'm using a velvet we are going to be using this for the lining of the bag then these are the hardware i'm going to be using so before i start covering the um carry board with a uh, fabric i like to take note of where i'm going to be inserting my magnetic snap so i just take the magnetic snap and you know this one is going to be at the front and this one is going to be underneath the flap okay so what i do i just take note of my magnetic snap and i place it where i want it to be preferably at the center if i start doing the measurement method you might get confused so i think this is the easiest way i can make you understand how to do it so once i mark it down like this i'm just going to take my marker and mark it like this then i take a pin just take a pin and pierce it down together with the um, front part of the bag i just punch a hole through it like this so now when i'm making when i'm fixing the fabric i can tell that this is where the magnetic snap is going to be so let's cover this up and the first thing i'm going to do is to spread my fabric on the flap to be somewhere here like this okay so i'm going to cut it out i'm going to cut it out and this one i want it to be here i'm going to cut it out as well so now i've cut it out make sure your fabric is very smooth now this is the back part of the fabric i'm just going to apply gum now this is what i do i don't apply gum on the body i just apply gum on the side like this so as you can see i applied gum at the edges so once i've done that i'm just going to place it properly the next thing you're going to fold I'm just going to fold it apply a little gum here you're going to see what I'm doing fold it like this can you see what I'm doing that's how you're going to fold it you do the same thing here Once you've done that, pull and make sure it's where please. You do the same thing here as well. We are going to do the same thing for this as well. This is what I'm doing. When you get to this triangle part, you just continue. When you get excess, you're going to cut it out. For this side, just take it like this. That. I'm going to apply a little gum here as well so once you've done that you're going to trim all this excess so this is it the next thing we are going to do before you put the lining you have to fix the magnetic snap so I'm going to puncture the hole to penetrate from the fabric angle so now you can see I've done that next thing i'm going to do is to fix the snap but now once we've done that i like to use a sheet board i like to place the sheet board here before closing it together this is it the next thing we are going to do we are going to choose the exact shape on our lining fabric can you see i'm putting it exactly exactly the way it is so as you can see we've traced it out so now you can see this this is what i did i want you to take note of what i've done this is where we are going to be putting the other magnetic snap now if you watch closely you will see that i did not just join i did not just join the lining to this part 
I didn't do that. And again, you, you see that I did not cut out another shape board to be the exact shape of this. I didn't do that because sometimes when you cut out the shape board to be exactly the same measurement with it, it's either it's excess whereby when you fold it over, it will have something like this and the lining material will be showing from the front, which is very unprofessional. So it's better to cut out a small shape board have the exact shape of the bag and not like this or like this so this is the reason why i cut out a small piece of shipboard and i traced it out on the lining now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to be fixing this on the tip of what we've traced out so i'll just apply gum and i'll place it down see the marking can you see the tip of the marking i'm going to place it to align exactly the way it's supposed to be now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to apply gum here like this i'm going to trim this up to be triangle triangular shape Once I've done that, I'm going to first fold this down. Be careful not to break the shipboard so it will still maintain that triangular shape. You just follow the line. Okay, I'm going to follow the line. Come down. Just follow the line. Okay, make sure you're following the line. Can you see what I'm doing? Make sure I the line. I'm holding the line. Okay. the line. You just clip it down. Now, once you've done that, you remember we already punched a hole here to take note of the marking. So, I'm just going to use it a lot shock to mark that place so once i've done that i'm just going to take this this part and i'm going to place it here like this to get the marking place it down like this and this is where the marking is so which means this way i'm going to be fixing the magnetic snap so I'm going to puncture a hole through and fix the other magnetic snap. As you can see, I've punched another hole. I'm just going to insert this to it. So now this is it. Uh, we've inserted our magnetic snap. I'm going to apply gum now to this part of the bag. Then we are going to gum the lining to it. I'm going to cut out lining for this one as well. And I'm just I'm going to fold the edge of the lining that's for the top part of the bag so I'm going to fold it like this and I'm going to place it so this is how it's going to be so once I've done that I'm going to trim the edges instead of folding the edges I'll just cut it all the way around Okay, now before I attach this to this part of the bag, I have to fix the handle of the bag first before I can cover it up with the lining. So now for the handle of the bag, we are using um, we are using the Marco, and the measurement we have here is the width is one inch, the length is nine inches. So I'm going to wrap this up with my Ankara fabric so to wrap it i'm going to be using this side of the Ankara paint what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply glue on the body so meanwhile while we are waiting for it to dry i already covered the back with a lining that the velvet so the next thing i'm supposed to do is to take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew it straight down 
but I'll say everything at once I just want to cover this up first so I placed it like this okay make sure it's smooth place it like that the next thing I'm going to do is to apply gum again to the other side so now I'm just going to fold this plate like this I'm going to apply gum here again and wait for it to dry so now I'm going to turn it like this and once I've done that I'll take note of the marking which is here I'm just going to fold it down like this you can see what we have here so now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew a straight line on both edges and as you can see I've sewn the back as well as the handle of the bag so now what I'm going to do I'm going to mark out where I want to fix my strap i'm going to take my tape pull i could decide to use one inch mark one inch here mark one inch here or i could decide to use one and a half inch one and a half inch that here and yeah which means you're going to be inserting the back somewhere here like this whichever one is fine so i'm going to be using one and a half inch remember you are fixing the handle of the bag on the top bit so i'm going to mark out my one and a half inches which is here i'm going to mark out the same one and a half inches which is here so i'm going to be fixing it down from half an inch half an inch from the flap half an inch from the flap so now you remember the measurement of our strap is one inch so i'm going to measure my one inch downward to just roll a straight line down roll a straight line down So once I've done that, I'm going to puncture a hole with my puncher and of course my punching board. As you can see, I've punctured the hole. Punctured the hole. The next thing I'm going to do is to insert it through the hole. Let's see what I'm doing. So now I've inserted it. The next thing you are going to do is to apply glue down. You can apply a lining to the bag. You are going to take this to the center, like this. You're going to use uh, clips to clip it down. Okay, so this is how you place it. So that's how you place it. I'm going to do that until you get down and getting to the edge you just trim it out not necessarily you must hold the edge carefully trim it out without cutting the anchor trim it out without cutting the anchor this is what it should look like 
let's go to the side of the bag now for the two sides as well as the base i'm going to cover it with ankara this is down and i apply glue again to the side so you're just going to hold this weight down and smoke on here I'm going to fold it down like this. So once we get to this stage, once we get to that stage, next thing I'm going to do is come here like this, like this, on both sides. So this side is meant to come down and just trim off this excess and fold it down. Okay. Now you take this other side this way, just like that. And this is what we have for the side. So now I'm going to apply gum here. So this time around, I'm going to be putting the lining. I mean, to put the lining, I'm just going to fold. I'm just going to fold the edges like this. The lining won't get to this part. The lining will stop here. The lining is going to stop here. After that, I'm just going to trim off the edges. The next thing we are going to do is to sew this piece straight down and sew this piece straight down. So now we've sewn the two sides. This thing we are going to do is to fix our bag chain using our rivet. We are going to take note of the midpoints the midpoint for this is 1.5 and we are going to be fixing the rivet by half an inch which is right here that's for the two sides well i'm just going to puncture a hole and fix the rivet so now i want to fix the rivet i just split this inside and this is just how i'm going to fix it No, fix the rivet. We'll do the same thing for the other side. So now the next thing we are going to do is to place this this the base, this the side. We are going to be sewing it like this. We place it down on the base. We are going to sew it from here to this. So now we've sewn it. You can see we've sewn both sides and this the base. So now to place it on the bag, the, the front part of the bag now, we are going to be placing it like this. I'm going to place it like this. This is how it is, right? So now this side, I'm just going to fold it down on the inside. I'm going to fold it down like to tally what you're doing. Right. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm pin it down. Pin it down. Pin it down. Then pin it for the side. Yeah. Make sure it's fabric is not coming out. Make sure it's inside. And you to pin it down as well like this. So now you take it to your sewing machine and you're going to sew it all the way around. You're going to sew it 
starting from here remember with minus two strokes so it doesn't so it won't be equal with the length of the font so you just say straight down like this so now we've done the first part which is the sewing we've sewn it together now we are going to sew the other part so this is how you're going to place it this is from this angle So the same way you place the front that's the same way you are going to place this side as well can you see it so we are going to sew it around the same way we sew the front and this time around we are going to sew like this down to the flap we are going to sew the flap as well now here is the finished look of our bag I'm just going to include so you can see <coughs> and we are done so thank you so much guys for watching my video remember to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video